I'm going to show you how to make chestnut jam without peeling. This method has worked very well for me. The nuts have boiled for approximately 20 minutes, maybe 30, depending on nut size, depending on freshness. Um, I ladle out three or four nuts. That's what I use. And then I cut the nuts with this knife. A bread knife may be better, or a serrated paring knife. And then I uh, take these nuts and put them into the sieve here. This is what I do. I just squeeze the meat out of the nuts like this. I'm using the wrong hand because I'm holding the, the camera with the other hand. But I think you get the idea. I don't usually squeeze with the left hand. Get as much meat out as you possibly can. Later, I'd use a teaspoon to get the remaining out. And then, I use this um, device which is used for taking rice out of a rice cooker. It's got these lovely little dimples on the back. I don't go out and buy anything particular. I just use, make do with what I've got in the kitchen. And then now you just push this through the sieve and it should just work its way in. This is the hardest part of the, all the work. Just keep pushing this in, keep pushing it in and you get this lovely, lovely fine powder. Okay, so for the grand finale, I'm going to put in uh, 300 mils of water. And then I'm going to stir in this uh, ten saito, that's what we call it here, it's a, a beet sugar, which comes from Hokkaido. Shade under 300 grams there. I find the whisk works well.
most of the recipes, in fact all the recipes that I have found on the internet talk about peeling chestnuts and I still don't understand why you'd want to peel the chestnuts and make those lovely little round nuts when it's going to end up looking like this I don't see the benefit of it so try this see how you go and enjoy almost there I, I don't like this idea of boiling for 50 minutes I boil as little as possible I think maximum of 20 to 30 minutes to get those nuts soft enough so that the meat will easily go through the sieve the next thing is just a little bit of heat to get it into a paste like this it's a nice paste I'm going to add some vanilla and add a bit of rum now I think this bottle has a little bit maybe I'm guessing there's 30 mils of rum there just plonk it in and hope for the best Just experiment, taste it, just coax it along, almost there, I'm going to throw in a bit of um, vanilla essence, what is that, yes, just probably one or two teaspoons of vanilla essence, I don't actually have the pods, I had pods last year, I couldn't find them in the supermarket or anywhere this year, oh, a bit scarce. I mean that's really all I do. I'll now finish off and let that um, cool down and in the morning I'll bag it and put it in the freezer. And what we can use this month or next month I'll put in a small jar and leave it in the fridge. And that's really all I do. Hope you enjoy.